Today we're going to make a simple chocolate buttercream. You're going to need one cup of unsalted butter. It's very important that you use unsalted. Three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of cocoa powder, three and a half cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla. First, you're going to take that cup of butter at room temperature and you're going to whip it for two minutes. So here, just be patient. It's going to whip, 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 whip. You're going to need to stop and scrape down the sides. If it's not room temperature, it will not get light and fluffy. So two minutes of whipping. Scrape down those sides. And then right here, you're going to add your wet ingredients, your two teaspoons of vanilla extract, your three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then your powdered ingredients. You're going to add in that half a cup of cocoa powder, and then your three and a half cups of powdered sugar. I do recommend that you sift your powdered sugar. However, you can just add it in there, but you do risk it coming out gritty instead of smooth and fluffy. Start out on slow, make sure that it gets wet and it looks incorporated and not powdery, and then you can up it to a speed three or four. And then after that, you're gonna up it even more so it whips it super fast, which is gonna make it even lighter and fluffier. If you feel like the frosting is too stiff, you can add another tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Just don't add too much. Let it whip a little bit longer and see how it comes out before you add any more liquids. If you add too much liquid, there's really no coming back from it, and then you're going to end up having to throw out all your buttercream, which is always a sad day if you have to do that. So just like in that first step when you were whipping your butter, you're going to have to take time and end up stopping, scraping down your sides of the bowl to make sure that there's no powder that your mixer has missed and it will help it get all nice, fluffy, and airy. This is an extremely rich chocolate buttercream, but it is so good and it is worth the seven minutes that it takes to put together. Um, it's not as sweet as store-bought. It's a little bit bitter and if you don't like the bitterness of the cocoa, you can add another teaspoon of vanilla or three tablespoons of fine granulated sugar. If you add just plain granulated sugar, you're gonna get grits or chunks in it. Scrape down those sides, don't skimp on this, or you might regret it when you go to dish it up into your pastry bag. And this is what you should see at the end, and then you're ready to scoop it into your pastry bags and fry. 